gosh. <laughs> what did you put in there? <coughs> Wait. You should not come capture you. Yeah, you should not trash it. You're trying to kill the horse, so that you can take over. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Foods 254 brings you yet another episode on this Christmas season. On today's show is none other than Chef Richard Onderi. Thank Welcome. you, thank you, thank you so much for hosting me again. Today, as you can see, we are all branded in these beautiful t-shirts that say a meal shared is a yes, smile. I know you are very passionate about charitable chefs. Yes, yes. Tell us about this initiative that you began. Yeah, actually today we're in these t-shirts because we are cele I'm celebrating five years of charity. I started this initiative five years ago. My aim was to touch people's hearts through meals, through good meals, made like classy meals that people don't get to enjoy every day. Uh, we majorly uh, visit children homes, children's homes and street kids. We've also done prisons. We actually do this uh, like four times in a year our program, our own program, but we also join other groups on helping them when they have their own charity events, we go cook for them. But for us, we do like after every three months, we, we visit a home or a prison or feed the street kids. Why do you do this? Uh, I do this because, um, as I've told you, I wanted, I'm, I'm doing this to touch people's heart through food. And the people that I target mostly are the less fortunate, the orphans, and I actually do this because I've gone through the same thing. I've been, I'm an orphan personally, so I know what these people go through. And I've visited these homes, I've seen the kind of food they eat. So whenever we, we visit them, we try and take good care of them, help them in cleaning, uh, buy them some food, at least treat them for a day or two. Sometimes we spend some time with them, yes. And um, how do you get to fund it? Is it from your own pocket? Yeah, yeah, sometimes it, it got to a place where I used to use my... I could go broke, but it's because I was, I'm really passionate about it. But uh, at the moment I have well wishes, I have friends that help me out. They get to contribute and we come up with some money, we buy some food, some others contribute some food stuff, others bring clothes and all that. Yes. And I'm sure before we end the show, people will get to know how they can also contribute, you know. Yes, yeah. So let's get to work. Yeah. What are you preparing for us today? Yeah, for today we're going to do burgers. We're going to have two types of burgers. We're going to do beef burgers and chicken burgers. Oh, chicken burgers. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we also have an accompaniment of potato wedges. Wow. Yes. I'm ready. We start. Yes. We're going to start with uh, <laughs> the ingredients. We're going to start with the ingredients. Yeah. Uh, I've marinated my minced meat. I'm not going to tell you the secret. <laughs> you that. have your secret ingredient. <laughs> yes, I have my secret <laughs> ingredients in that. Okay. And then we're also going to marinate the chicken. Okay. Uh, on the burger, we're going to have. Uh, they have different layers. We have different layers of the burger. We have, we have some tomatoes. We have some cucumber. We have. Um, I have a salad that I do. It's one of my secret ingredients of the burger that makes the burger more juicy. Secret ingredients. Today it's <laughs> just all about secret ingredients. Yes, and then we have two kinds of sauces. Uh, I've done a Thousand Island sauce, and this is my secret sauce that quite a number of people know, but then they don't know how it's made. I can't show you. And then on the burger, we're also going to add uh, mustard, and we also have some pickles. Pickles? Yes, These pickles. Are pickles. Those are pickled Wait, papers. Why do they look like mushrooms? <laughs> oh, they're <laughs> not mushrooms, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, we're going to start with the burger. Now we have our simple burger bun. Okay, now we, we do the cucumber. Then we do the tomatoes. Now we go, let's now do first, let's first of all put the potatoes first, so that we're going to see if it's ready. I'm going to do a few for the burger.
Uh, okay, we're going to oil the pan okay. so that uh, the beef doesn't stick to the pan. This is how big it is. That's supposed to be there. We'll continue with this. Now we'll come with the a thousand island sauce. Okay, this now is a mixture of what? This is called mango salsa. So this is a mixture of onions, mangoes. You can actually do raw mangoes, they're better. And then we have a bit of some vinegar, some sugar, some black pepper. Yeah, that's... Uh, the names, it's, you said salsa? It's mango salsa. Yeah. I'm going to turn our, our party to the other side. Yeah, then yeah, also yeah. the burger will also have the onions mm. and the pickles. Then we have the pickles. Oh, these are these pickles? Are these not uh, green peppers? Yeah, they are. So the, why why pickles? Uh, it has a better taste when pickled. I'm going to give you some. That's taste. water inside. No, no, this is brine. <laughs> it's a mix yeah, so of spices. <laughs> vocabularies today. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a combination of uh, it's a mixture of spices mm -hmm. and vinegar and some sugar, some salt. You just know how about to go around it and balance. If I want to do taste. this at home, some things you can't do. You can't just do everything by yourself at home. We need to do. Why are we here? <laughs> okay, why? We need here? to do for I you know. all this. Yeah. <laughs> so our beef is almost ready. We're going to by the side. We're just going to fry our onions. Wow. Just enough for one burger. Okay. And the salt. Now our potatoes are ready. Mm. All this. Okay. I'm gonna add more for the second burger. This is how we want our beef party to look like. Yeah. Now let's finish up on the burger. Our onions here. Okay. Oh, looks nice. Yeah. Oh, this was uh, salsa who? Oh, this was. These are the pickles. Oh, <laughs> the pickles. <laughs> We oh, the, salsa. Fork, the fork, yeah. <laughs> this is the salsa, the mango salsa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gosh, <laughs> what did you put in there? <coughs> Wait. This is what I come capture here. Yeah, you shouldn't trash it. You're trying to kill the horse, <laughs> so that you can take over. <laughs> Okay, let's finish up on the burger. <laughs> Wait. Mm -hmm. Everyone should try that. Hey, what taco Okay, now. Okay, let's finish on the burger with the sauce, with the secret sauce. How is one going to bite all that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Let's finish up on the potatoes. Okay. Our beef burger is ready. Let's now go to the chicken. Yeah, for the chicken burgers, we're going to use uh, chicken breasts. Uh, we marinate them first. For today, I've done turmeric, garam masala, and mixed spices, and some soy sauce. Okay. Yes. We're going to fry it in a bit of more oil compared to the other, to the beef 
party. Okay, and why is that? Yeah. Why is because that? I'm going to show you why. Because okay. uh, the chicken, we're going to dip it in the flour first. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Uh, for the coating, we're also going to do a bit of some spices to the flour to enhance the tastes. Now that the oil is hot enough, we cut the chicken. We'll start assembling our, se our second burger. We do the same layers as the beef burger. We want the chicken to be crispy. Yeah. The same oil, you just do a bit of onions. It's the same. Our chicken is ready. They now look like mandazi. <laughs> mandazi. <laughs> yes. Put our onions. We do our pickles. Now after our pickles, now you bring the sauces to finish up on the burger. The sauces. A thousand Island. A thousand Island. Keep on forgetting the names. <laughs> You'll get used to it with time. <laughs> Now our chicken burger is ready with the potato wedges. Wow. Yes, this is how it looks. This is a burger meal. How much do you think this can cost? In different places that I've visited, this costs around 1,000 to 1,200 Kenya shillings. But then, you know, it also depends in different places. There are places that it's cheaper, there are places that it's more expensive. Yes. Let's get to charitable chefs. chefs. Yes. We're planning on visiting a home on 21st of December. Um, we are visiting, this home is called Visible Grace Children's Home. It's 15 kilometers off Kisarian. The home has 20 kids. Um, our plan is to gift each kid a Christmas gift and uh, also do a good menu for them for the day. Some of our members from our group that will be going there on 19th to spend time with them from 19th. On Friday, we'll be doing the burgers. Actually, these are the burgers we're going to do for them for lunch, on Friday lunch. And then we hang out for the, for the whole day on Friday. We're planning on planting trees, uh, doing some games, and then doing some general cleaning in the home. And then now, on Saturday morning, as we'll be expecting other members to join us, in the morning, we'll wake up and do some breakfast for them. And then after that, we can do some cleaning, and then as we wait for the other members to come and join us, and everyone is also Welcome to come and join us for the day, like, so that we can share lunch with the kids on that day. What are some of the donations you expect from people? We are doing a pair of shoes mm -hmm. and a, a bag okay, for the kids. So bag. That, yes, a school bag and a, a pair of shoes for school, so that they can use them in January. This, we are doing this so that we can at least lessen some burden for the home when it comes to January. Uh, others are donating some clothes, others are donating, uh, like the people who have pledged to buy us, like, Maize, beans, yeah, Food all stuff. that, yes. How about these nice t-shirts? <laughs> yes, for the t-shirts, uh, the t-shirts we, 
we, we, we are selling them so that we can raise funds that can help us to run such programs. Uh, at the moment, they are going for 600 shillings. Wow, that's affordable. I'm sure everyone can get this, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so we, 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 we are requesting on people, if you can't make it on the day, at least you can buy a t-shirt yeah. that can help of raising some funds for the day. So people need to know how to find Chef Onderi, you know? Yeah, Chef Onderi, <laughs> as, as we had said earlier yes. on the other episode, it's Chef Onderi on Instagram, Facebook, it's Chef Onderi. But for now, this I'll request people to come also follow us on Instagram and Facebook on Charitable Chefs. You can Please follow us. Don't forget. 20, yeah, you, 21st. 21st of December. Of December. Yeah, the you place can, again? Uh, Visible Grace Children's Home. Okay. Yeah. You can like find us on Facebook and Instagram if you want to see what we've done. Okay. You can go, go go through it and see everything that we've done. Charitable. Charitable Chefs. Charitable Chefs. Charitable Chefs. Yeah. I've been inspired, Shifonderi. Yeah, that's really nice. And to our viewers, Foods 254 is not all about cooking and eating. But such acts of kindness really mean a lot to us. This festive season, wherever you are, share the little you have. That's it for today, but remember to like, share, subscribe. See you next time.